It has been a long season for WSU, but through it all, the players are what shine this year. We're taking some time this week to spotlight some of those players. So our Travis Green sat down with one Coug who actually grew up right here in Spokane, defensive back Armani Marsh, whose journey to being one of the team's top defensive players was one of pure determination. Just a, a kid who believed in himself from the start and uh, just loved football and was looking for an opportunity. Armani Marsh has taken the road less traveled. The Spokane native and former Gonzaga prep star wasn't the typical highly recruited player you see on Power 5 teams come Saturday. His options were slim. I got offered a preferred walk on to Idaho that I was going to take and then after I went and visited I was driving back to Spokane and I got a DM from WSU and they had offered me a preferred walk on it. A message he had hoped for that quickly set his future in stone. I couldn't believe it at first. I was just telling my mom like, they want me to come here, they want me to come here. And that was it, like I knew I was coming here. Marsh gambled on himself with no scholarship and no guarantee of seeing the field. Easy to wonder if he made the right decision. That first fall camp, I might have questioned it a little bit. I got to camp and I wasn't getting any reps at Indy or anything. I was like, okay. But he never gave up on himself. Marsh worked his way up the depth chart and began to see playing time in his red shirt freshman season. He made good enough of an impression on the coaching staff that he earned a scholarship the following year. Was that a feeling of, hey, I, I do belong in, in Power Five football? Yeah, I had confidence before, but that kind of was, it made it stronger, you know, and realize, okay, like, I really can play at this level. With the determination to chase his dream and now the confidence of belonging, Marsh has continued to get better and became the Cougs leader in interceptions this season with three and finished second in tackles with 42. Two of his interceptions came in the biggest win WSU has had in quite some time in this year's Apple Cup victory. Just blessed, um, amazing, you know, felt like all the you know hard work that you put in, you know, sort of pays off in moments like those. and. Um, yeah, it was something I'll never forget. He's put together a season not only recognized by his team, but by the Pac-12 Conference as he earned an all-Pac-12 honorable mention. Marsh has another season left in a Cougs uniform, another year to keep getting better. Next year, you know, I want to be second team, first team. That's my goal, but really just be the best teammate I can be and uh, just work hard to be the best football player I can be, and the rest will take care of itself. Don't we love that? Oh, man, I love it. <laughs> Local guy, yeah, that was good. Huh? Now it's fun to know, you know, a little bit about mm -hmm. the face behind that helmet. Someone else to root for. Exactly. <laughs>